Hey everybody, we just wanted to make this video to kind of just sit down and have a conversation with each other and with you guys. We haven't done a video like this in a while, so we thought we would kind of discuss a couple of things uh, that we've been talking about around our family table. And one of the things is um, this issue of mandated vaccinations. Uh, we live in a state right now, Minnesota, that is introducing a bill to mandate vaccinations by removing any exemptions for people. Because um, right now you can say, you know, for religious reasons, we're not going to vaccinate or for whatever reason, we're not going to vaccinate. Um, but they're wanting to mandate that. And there's a growing trend in that direction just because of some of these supposed outbreaks that are taking place for like uh, measles and things like that. My issue is there's such controversy over vaccines themselves. Um, if you just do some research, you'll find out about some of the black box warnings for vaccinations, which means that they could cause death. And there's a lot of reported and documented injuries in regards to vaccinations. And it's just unfathomable to for the government to force that on people. That they would take away the rights of parents, the rights of children, um, and force stuff um, on it. It's just, it, it's, it's not a debate on whether or not you should vaccinate. That's a separate yeah, debate. That's a, then that's up to each parent. Right, but each with, parent should have, have that choice. Yeah, and with the government saying, no, you have to get the shots, that's just, it's taking away the parents' free will to parent their children. Yeah, and it's just, it because if we're gonna say, okay, do you know what? force us to vaccinate our children, what other freedoms are we going to wind up giving up just for the security of people's health in the United States? So it's just very disturbing. I urge you guys, um, if you do live in Minnesota, to contact your representatives and let them know that you oppose this because, like I said, it's not an issue of whether to vaccinate or not. This is a freedom issue. And so if you believe in freedom, contact your local representatives, write to them, however, call their offices, and just let them know that you oppose any bill that would be introduced, and the bill that is currently in Minnesota, but any state, federally even, contact your representatives and say, we don't want this for the United States people. And our politicians are elected to represent us, so, hopefully and prayerfully this won't become a, a national thing where we will be forced to vaccinate our kids because there's such a controversy of it like I said and yeah. just do some research we're not going to get into our choice that we've made with our kids because right now that's irrelevant yeah. the issue of choice is what is relevant and freedom so yeah that's our Thoughts. All right. So, what what do you want to talk about? The Operation Varsity Blues. If you haven't heard about it, you've been living under a rock. <laughs> Maybe you don't know the details of Operation Varsity Blues. So Stephanie's gonna kind of tell you what Varsity Blues is, and then you'll be like, oh, that thing. <laughs> so when this story broke um, on March 12th, I was like. No. No. I was in denial because the people involved wouldn't do that. So what it was is 
well, what it is, because it's an ongoing investigation, um, the FBI had a operation looking into this company that helped get kids into college. And the director of this organization, who is William Singer, would bribe colleges, coaches, teachers. Allegedly. Allegedly. Is that <laughs> key word? And to get these rich kids, what it comes down to, into college. And three of the more famous people was, well, is Felicity Hoffman, Lori Laughlin, and Lori Laughlin's husband. Yeah, um, who is a designer. So when I heard their names, I was like, Lori Laughlin wouldn't do that. Not Aunt Becky from <laughs> Full House. She wouldn't do that. But then as the reports started coming out that her and her husband spent $500,000 to get their daughters into USC, and then the evidence started showing. I'm just like, no. And then when Hallmark fired Lori Laughlin, when Netflix fired her from appearing on Fuller House season five, that it was like, okay. What 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 kind of made it burn even more with Lori Laughlin is her one of her daughters, she's a YouTube star, she did not care about going to college. Yep. She posted a video last year when she went in, she's like, oh, I'm gonna be traveling so much and I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be in college, <laughs> but I really just wanna go for the parties and for game days. <laughs> did he like his Cali girl accent there? <laughs> So, mom and daddy spent 500 grand to get you into college for parties and game days. So, <sighs> it just blows my mind how, I mean, it shouldn't because we've always known that the rich and the powerful use their money to get their way. Yeah. But you kind of hope that it isn't so. You kind of, you kind of want to give people the benefit of the doubt, especially... Yep. Again, Aunt Becky from Full House, but it, 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 and people were, were kind of upset with Lori Laughlin being fired from Hallmark and from not appearing in the final season of Fuller House on Netflix uh, because they're like, hey, what happened to innocent until proven guilty? Well, a lot of these Hollywood contracts are very strict and they have clauses in there that you know, even an allegation of anything would be a breach of contract. So I'm gonna guess that's what happened. And it's not because that's why she got, she was fired within two days after the story broke with Lori Laughlin. And she was in the middle of filming with Hallmark when she had to leave to come back to the States. And they shut down production. They pulled When Calls the Heart off the air in mid-season. And again, I, I think that all comes back to contract. And when you think of it in that way, it's everybody protecting a brand, um, Hallmark protecting their brand, Netflix protecting their brand, and also Lori Laughlin with like One Calls the Heart being pulled off the air, protecting her, her image, her appearance. Um, so, and the only reason why we're talking about Lori Laughlin more than Felicity Huffman, um, out of the 40 plus families and parents that are involved in this, they, Lori Laughlin and her husband Massimo are apparently the worst offenders. So that's why it's been talked about more with them because mm -hmm. Felicity Huffman was only 15 grand and you think 15 grand compared to Lily Laughlin and her husband doing $500,000 just, yeah. So that's kind of what we've been talking about the last couple of weeks around the family table and discussions and we thought we'd bring it to you and get get your thoughts on these two issues um, with with the vaccines 
and the the mandatory vaccinations. Yeah. We don't want to debate about whether you should vaccinate or not. We just want your thoughts on mandatory vaccinations. And then also Operation <laughs> Varsity Blues. <laughs> we'll try to do these conversational ones from time to time and bring up topics that are kind of on our minds that we talk about um, in our home. And these are just the two that are <laughs> kind of on the brain right now. But like this video, like I said, comment below what you feel about these two topics that we've talked about. And then subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification button to get notified when we upload these videos and all of our other cool videos that we do. And with that, we will say good night and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.